in recent years in many regions of the planet have been terrifying sounds that caused many speculations about its unknown origin. Most of the sounds were recorded in January 2012, although there were cases before and after. In multiple videos of the events uploaded to YouTube you can hear scary, low-frequency sounds that seem as if the atmosphere or the earth itself squeaked. It creeps in slowly in the dark of night, and once inside, it almost never goes away. It's known as the hum, a steady, droning sound that's heard in places as disparate as Taos, and most of the people who hear the hum, sometimes referred to as hearers or hummers, describe the sound as similar to a diesel engine idling nearby. And the hum has driven virtually every one of them to the point of despair history knows several acoustic phenomena. For example, for many years residents of the city of Taos in the United States have heard a strange buzzing sound similar to a diesel engine sounding on the other side of the windows. The mysterious buzz of Taos is heard almost exclusively by local residents and almost never by visitors to the city. It is also known as the Bristol buzz in the United Kingdom, which hundreds of people could hear in the 70s. Unlike these phenomena, the sounds of the past few years were well audible and have been recorded by many people. The Naked Science page has accumulated theories about the possible origins of these enigmatic sounds. Apocalyptic theory, in many cultures there are legends that say that the sound of a horn or horn will warn of the arrival of the end of the world. The Hebrews believe that it will be the chauffeur, the ceremonial horn that, according to legends, destroyed the city of Jericho with its sound. Scandinavian mythology points out that the end of the world, the Ragnarok, will be announced by the guardian of Asgard, Heimdall, with the golden horn Jullerhorn. It is not surprising that, when we hear strange sounds, these legends gain strength in people's heads. Mentions of the groaning of the earth also exist in the older cultures, for example, in Greek mythology there is a legend about giants of a hundred arms which the gods of Olympus buried in Mother Earth, which causes her a strong pain and makes her moan and scream. Industrial theory, many often explain mysterious sounds alluding to technological reasons. For example, the buzz that was heard in Kiev in 2011 was related to the construction works that were carried out near the area where the buzz was recorded. On the other hand, some researchers explain the buzz of Taos as the possible influence of the installations of the electrical network. The theory, however, does not explain why in 2012 the enigmatic sounds were heard almost simultaneously throughout the planet. In addition, sometimes near the places where these phenomena were recorded there were no power lines, construction sites, factories, or other industrial objects. Geophysical theory, magma, and the tectonic plates always move in the center of the planet, which produces sounds indistinguishable from the human ear, but researchers have learned to record them by placing microphones in wells made for scientific purposes. These sounds may increase before and during earthquakes, say some researchers. Thus, the Russian physicist Alexei Lyubushin, who believes that before the earthquakes the underground sounds are synchronized, indicates that he predicted in 2008 the earthquake that shook Japan in 2011. Lyubushin also argues that this country will suffer a devastating new earthquake within the next year approximately. The weak point of this version is that the groan of the earth was also recorded in places of zero seismic activity. Climate theory, some scientists believe that the sounds in question could be due to natural phenomena. For example, when the ice melts, part of the hydrogen bonds between the water molecules is destroyed. Each break releases energy and can cause a low sound, which in case of large amounts of water can be audible and perceived as a kind of buzz. This could be the reason behind the rare sounds that in many cases were recorded during fogs and before storms, indicate the adherence to this theory. However, this theory does not fit the sounds that were heard when the weather was clear. The hum zones, Bristol, England, was one of the first places on earth where the hum was reported. In the 1970s, 
about 800 people in the coastal city reported hearing a steady thrumming sound, which was eventually blamed on vehicular traffic and local factories working 24-hour shifts. In Spain IT is happening very often above all in the Andalusian city of Cádiz, heliocentric theory, the sun could be behind the mysterious sounds, says the Azerbaijani geophysicist Elchin Jalilov, president of the Global Network for the Prediction of Earthquakes, GNFE. According to Jalilov, when the solar energy released after the solar eruptions reaches the Earth's magnetosphere, acoustic waves are produced that, when reaching the surface, can be combined with the low-frequency noise of the cities and cause some people to hear something strange. Low frequencies also cause the anxiety and fear felt by people who hear these sounds, a well-known effect of low frequencies. Other hypotheses, including military experiments and submarine communications, have yet to bear any fruit. For now, hearers of the hum have to resort to white noise machines and other devices to reduce or eliminate the annoying noise. Leventhal, who recommends that some hearers turn to cognitive behavioral therapy to relieve the symptoms caused by the hum, isn't confident that the puzzle will be solved anytime soon. It's been a mystery for 40 years, so it may well remain one for a lot longer.